Welcome to View by DJS BRC. And today we have a small treat. Got one of my subscribers uh, that brought me this machine here to review. Uh, he is a collector. He has more than one of these here. That's why this one is open. Uh, that was a box that was already open when he purchased it. Uh, and yeah. And he says, hey, would you like to do it? I said, yeah, why not? It is a Traxxas uh, Snap-on Limited Edition 1950s Hot Rod Step Van. Uh, it's Seriously, it is it is a Ford body. Again, for you guys that know me, I do love Fords. And hmm, it's, it's, it's unique, believe me. Um, even myself, personally, I would never run this vehicle. I would keep it like in the box and do the same thing to you. Uh, it has functional lights on it. It has a complete interior. Now I don't want to remove the plastic, but you can see the benches in the back. It has a seat, the steering wheel's there. And now some of you might ask, what chassis is it? What is it based off? I'll remove the body off of it in a couple of minutes here. I'm just going to do around the vehicle. You might be able to see the, the back. See the benches right there with the physical tools. Low point mechanic. Vacuum. Grip plies. Well, yeah. 1950 plate on it. Like I said, the light does light up on it. And it does have the uh, the new body mounts on it because you don't see any body clips on it. I think I might have clipped the back. They are hard to find. Okay, where there you go. It is a heavy body because it does have the complete interior. Now, if I bring it on the side, you'll see. They didn't go flimsy. It is a hard plastic for the interior. I don't know if it's me or what, but I think Traxxas is stepping their game. Even has the uh, physical mirrors. But here you go for the chassis. I think it's the same chassis as the Traxxas Corvette. And not sure if we still have the Corvette here. To be able to, sh to show both of them side to side, but I'm pretty sure it is the same. Not sure if it's called the Fortec. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But it is like a 12 turn Titan XL5. It probably has a 20. Uh, 2075 servo in it. The physical chassis itself, it's a plain Jane Traxxas, but where it makes a total difference of this vehicle is the chassis, but the chassis, but the body itself. Now, this is something you cannot buy any local hobby shop. This is something you need to get to your Snap-on dealer. Uh, some of them will sell them uh, with a stupid price. Let's see if there's something else on the box. Really? No. Just a Snap-on. And it comes with the stock parts of Traxxas. You do have the TQ remote with the uh, NIMH charger. Just simple packaging, but the manual does say the snap-on step van. But again, it is a nice machine. Would I like to have one in my collection? Yes. Am I ready to pay that price? No. There's a lot of people selling them online right now. Uh, they're asking 1200 Canadian. Uh, it would be maybe 800 American. I won't say how much he paid for this. He did tell me. 
you got it at a very good price. But I want to say thank you for that subscriber for bringing this to me and letting me record it. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. It does help the channel a lot, and I do appreciate it a lot. Thank you for watching.